Hello everybody! If you are like me and spend way too much time on the internet, then chances are you have probably heard of Spiders George. To make a short story even shorter, a columnist by the name of Lisa Holst once wrote about fake facts circulating the internet in emails and used some examples to illustrate her point. One of these was the myth that humans, while they sleep, eat an average of 8 spiders a year. This myth, of course, circulated widely, becoming a perfect example of what she was critiquing. Using this fake story as a base, a Tumblr user expanded on the idea of eating spiders, leading to the famed story of Spiders George. In his World Heritage post, Max Laverne said that this myth is in actuality true, but only because of an enormous outlier, Spiders George, who ate over 10,000 spiders a day, was counted when he shouldn't have been. I've personally always loved this story, and it always kind of got me thinking. I could always imagine him being confronted for his deeds at some point. The Tumblr story said that he lived in a cave, but for whatever reason I always imagined him sitting in an abandoned creepy old house, just happily munching away on spiders. Here is where I imagine that in a cold and stormy night, that suddenly someone breaks in through his front door. George temporarily slows down eating, but doesn't fully stop. Through the doorway, a large humanoid figure enters his humble abode, cloaked in a dark robe. And despite the room being very dark, you can sort of see that there are four sets of eyes beneath the hood. At first, the creature curses something. Like, finally found you, you calicerate less mother lover, before it calms itself down. The figure then takes out a calculator from its robe and starts using its many limbs to enter something. It starts explaining just how many spiders the man ate. With 7.8 billion humans and an average of 3 spiders a year, he would eat 23.4 billion spiders in a single year. That makes 2 billion a month, 64 million a day, 3 million an hour. 45,000 a minute and 742 a second. Almost seems doable, <laughs> but if we say that the average spider weighs about 1 gram, then that's still quite a lot. Like most animals, spiders are around 70% water, and if we say that the rest of their body mass is chitin, then they end up with a rough density of 1.1 gram per cubic centimeter. Using basic geometry, we end up with a sphere approximately 11 centimeters thick, or about the size of a grapefruit, that he eats every single second. Friendly reminder at this point, this sphere is a literal ball of spiders and I don't think he has the time to cook them. A gram of spiders has about 1.2 calories, so George consumes about 900 calories a second. A gallon of gasoline has about 31,000 calories, so he basically consumes about 1.75 gallons of gasoline a minute. The creature rambles on and explains a whole lot of other pointless crap while George is just sitting there happily munching away. The figure occasionally gets heated, explaining how much of a monster the man is. Finally, the creature explains that due to the enormous pressure he put on the spider's populations, that their evolution had to rapidly speed up, just for them to survive. They conquered the Earth, the stars and the whole universe, nearly wiped out humans when they noticed that the number of spiders that were being consumed decreased with every dead human. They eventually slowed down his hunger to basically nothing. For quite some time they achieved happiness, but the pressure that once exerted on the race disappeared, and so they started stagnating, living pointless lives with no fear or purpose. So in the end they decided to raise up the humans from their ashes and fuel George's hunger once again. In a way, George had become their god, a sort of force of nature which was just an eternal part of Spider's existence. The intruder stops talking for a moment and says that he doesn't have any questions why or how George did it. He only wishes to hear and to know what he has to say. And so the man, George, for the first time stops eating, swallows his last ball of spiders, 
and says, Could you close the door? I'm getting wet.